What's going on, guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post, where we talk about all things Pokemon. And today, I'm going to blow your minds. In today's video, we will be talking about some Pokemon that were introduced in a generation, but there's definitely an argument for why those Pokemon probably aren't even from the region of that generation that they were first introduced in. Uh, we're going to begin with probably the most well-known example, and the most controversial example, and that is Meltan and Melmetal. Meltan and Melmetal were introduced in the seventh generation of Pokemon that, of course, were the Alola region. That was the region of that generation. However, Meltan and Melmetal were introduced on Pokemon Go and were supposed to kind of coincide with the release of Pokemon Let's Go and were available in those games, but were never actually available in Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, or Ultra Moon, which were the Alolan games. They were only available in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which were set in the Kanto region. However, we know they're not from the Kanto region either. They're said to come from some faraway region and official listings of them, such as in Home or on uh, websites, will list Meltan and Melmetal from unknown regions or unknown origins or something like that. So it's always been heavily debated. Is it from Galar? Is it from Alola? Is it from Kanto? We don't know. It, but it very likely isn't from Alola, and we know it isn't from Kanto. To move into lesser known examples, we have the Pokemon Beldum. So Beldum was introduced in the third generation, which of course was the Hoenn region. But I want you to let me know where you find Beldum. Where do you find Beldum in the home region? You don't. You actually don't find it anywhere. After you beat uh, the champion, Steven, he will gift you a Beldum. They'll be left in his house for you to collect, but Beldum is actually not found in the Hoenn region. So it's, it's very likely that Beldum didn't come from there. Now, with speculation that Beldum could be from outer space, there's a chance that Beldum could actually be from the Unova region because there is the giant chasm there, which is where a meteorite landed and you can find while Matang and Metagross there. So maybe Beldum came from there. And of course, there are arguments to be made that it could be from the Alola region or from the Gala region because it is found in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and it is found in the Crown Tundra in the Sword and Shield DLC. But either way, it, it definitely seems like Beldum is not from the Hoenn region where it was first introduced. On that note, we also have another Pokemon that is not from Hoenn, but was introduced in Hoenn, and that is Corphish. This one I do think is kind of known, but it is said that Corphish actually is an invasive species to Hoenn that was brought from another region. We don't know where that region was, but it was very likely that Corphish actually had a regional variant in this region, and the Hoenn variant is not the original, because it seems that Crawdont mimics its appearance after Sharpedo, likely to scare off predators, and even seem to adopt the water dark typing from Hoenn's most fierce predator, Sharpedo. But either way, we actually know for a fact, Corphish is not from Hoenn. Now to move into the earlier days of Pokemon, we have Togepi. Togepi was introduced in the second generation of Pokemon, and there you get it as an egg from Professor Elm. It's this mysterious egg that ends up hatching. It might be Professor Oak. I apologize. It's one of those two. But you get this egg and it hatches into a Togepi. But you don't actually find wild Togepis anywhere in that game. And Togepi is a bit confusing because it's like that in a lot of other games too. Like in Platinum, you're given it by Cynthia. And you can find it by the Poker Radar in the post game on the post game island but or you can't just find wild togepies by regular means i actually believe that togepi likely came from hisui which of course was the ancient seno and has just kind of died out over time reason i think this is because you can't find wild togepi in hisui and it would explain why you know it's still kind of in the region just much more rare but either way it's definitely not from johto because you can't find it in johto by any means now to move back even further, we go to Generation 1. Generation 1 introduced us to the Pokemon Eevee. And of course Eevee is beloved. If you don't know who Eevee is, do you even like Pokemon? Seriously. Do you like Pokemon if you don't know who Eevee is? But Eevee was introduced in Generation 1, but you actually don't find it in the wild in the games it was introduced in. You actually find it 
by it being a gift to you but again you don't find it in the wild and let's go however this kind of changes it because you do find that wild eevee and you can find wild eevee but we're gonna stick with the original games because let's go was clearly a just whole different game and uh, i'm just gonna go on record to say i don't think eevee is from the kanto region you can however find it in the johto region and with its significance with the kimono girls each of them use an evolution i imagine that that's where eevee likely is from and would explain why you are able to find the occasional wild eevee such as in let's go in the kanto region or why there are people who can gift it to you or are using its evolutions in the kanto region since the kanto region borders and even has routes connecting it to the johto region to move more into the present day we will go to Generation 5, where they introduced the Pokemon Zorua. Now, Zorua was introduced alongside the Unova region, and in the Unova region, we have Black and White, where you can only get Zorua by having this event Celebi that will give you this gift Zorua, or you can get its evolution by having these event Raikou, Entei, and Suicune that are shiny, that will allow you to battle and catch this event Zoroark, or in Black 2 and White 2, you are given N's old Zorua, by a former member of Team Plasma. Either way, again, Zorua is not a wild Pokemon found anywhere in this region. And in fact, I mean, you don't get it in black and white if you don't have either the Celebi event or the Entei Raikou and Suicune event. And even in those scenarios where you do, it, it's like a fluke thing that it's just kind of there. You're only given an, a former trainer's one in black two and white two. So it's, it's very likely Zorua's not from there. Uh, I actually do have a theory on where Zora was from. I do believe it is from the Hisui region. However, that does not mean I believe Hisui and Zorua is the variant. I don't want to give too much away because I have a whole video on it. Link to that in the description, of course. But I believe there was a third Zorua variant that lived in the Hisui region before we got the ghost normal Hisui and Zorua that we know and love today. Be sure to check that out because I think it explains pretty well why Zorua is from Hisui, and neither the Unovan or the Hisuian Zorua are the original. Now to move even more into the present, we get to Generation 8, where we have two Pokemon that are explicitly stated to be from another region. We have Ice-Q, which is a Pokemon that is said to drift from other regions. It, this is based off of a kind of freak thing where a Penguin just randomly kind of showed up in the uh, British Isles. No one really knows why. I'm pretty sure to this day no one knows why. But because of that, we likely don't know where Ice Q is from because we don't know where that penguin's from. However, Copperaja, we actually do have an answer, and we can thank Legends Arceus for that. It said in Galar that Copperaja was originally brought there from another region, and it was pretty speculated because it's an Indian elephant that it was probably from India because Britain had once colonized India. So Copperaja's appearance in the Galar region inspired by Britain was likely a reference to this however we did get this kind of confirmation in legends arceus where uh we have professor laventon says in raichu's dex entry that it has the power to knock out a copperaja now this is a reference to way back in the early days of pokemon in red and blue we have raichu's dex entry that says that it has the power to knock out an indian elephant professor laventon has now replaced indian elephant with copperaja Clearly kind of being their retcon to say, yeah, the Indian Elephant all along, it was Copperaja. So that's really neat that they kind of did that. They retconned something that was 26 years old and have, in doing so, confirmed that Copperaja is from a region that we have yet to see that is inspired by India. So there you have it, guys. Those are a few Pokemon that are from a region that is not, in fact, the region they first appeared in. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think of this uh, let me know if i missed any i think there are some other pokemon where it is kind of debatable like lucario i think legends arceus kind of creates the argument it is from Sinnoh, but previously people thought it might be from kalos or unova but let me know what pokemon you think may not be from the region it's actually from and of course back up your source you know you, you gotta cite your sources you gotta explain why you think that is be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. We do talk about all things Pokemon here. That includes fun stuff like this, but it also includes the really cool stuff like the Scarlet and Violet news that hopefully we will get any day now, please. Until next time, I will see all of you later.